Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, this is our 13th video on React with Redux video tutorial. In this video, we will create a remove to cart button here and on that click, we will just remove the items uh, one by one from the cart. As you can see, we are able to add the items on add to cart and similarly, we will able to remove the cart on remove, remove to cart button click, right? So now let's get started. So, okay, so what we need to do for that, first of all, let's talk about it. First of all, we need a button and on this button, I will call uh, action and after that action will just send the data to the reduce reducer and in the reducer, we will remove or you can see that the pop the items from here, right? And uh, then we are able to uh, easily see that the data will be just removed from here one by one. So now uh, let's start. First of all, uh, let's remove the all of these files. Just close all file and uh, just go to the root folder. And now let's click on a SRC and uh, components and just click on a home.js file, right? So here you can see that we have a button. So let's uh, just make a copy of this button, right? And uh, if you want, then you can format this, right? And just right here remove to cart so you can see that properly I can just uh, closing the side but uh, this is not required I think because we are just frequently we need to change the files and we don't need to send any kind of data here because uh, for removing the item we just need to pop the item right so just remove this data for here because if we have ID or we are just getting the data from API then we need uh, probably a ID but for now we don't need it right so but uh, now we need to define a function to remove the cart handler, right? Okay, so first of all, let's uh, just make a design change for uh, remove to cart because they are actually not looking good. So just right here, background color, you can just uh, see that like this and uh, margin top like um, six pixel is fair enough, seven, eight, right? So just let me copy it from here to my CSS file. So just go to the app.css and uh, let's define a new class here, like button dot, uh, my class name is like um, remove cart button, right? Just put here. And after that, uh, let's go to the item and uh, remove the padding for a moment, right? Now let's see, now they are looking much better from previous state. So now I just go to the action and create a one more function for remove item. So let's uh, go on the services, action.js and we can just make a copy of it if you want, right? So that we can save the time also. And just simply put here, remove cart. We are not going to send any data from here. So we can just remove this data. Oh, my bad. Like this. And I need uh, one more type like add to cart. So I need a uh, remove to cart type also. So that we can just uh, make a sync between uh, uh, reducer and action, right? So just right here, remove to cart. Yep. Uh, okay. So now let's import it and add a replace it with the remove to cart. So uh, now we have to call it from our uh, component so that uh, let's pass it through the container. Just go to the container home and let's import it. Let's write here uh, remove to cart and let's make a copy of it. And uh, if you want, you want this, just replace this one, remove to cart handler and remove to cart. So we are not going to sharing any kind of data in this function. So we can just remove this, right? But need, I think we need a colon here. Uh, and uh, we can just use like this. Okay. So now let's uh, come to the 
home.js and let's check that we are getting uh, this prop or not so just right here console dot warn and uh, just simply write here props and now you will see that we are getting two props here in our home one is add to cart handler another one is remove to cart handler so we can use it so just uh, right here uh, remove to cart handler right so now let's try to call it and let's see that we are getting the data in a reducer or action or not so just uh, make a console here and okay actually red color is not working here so I just noticed that why this is not working yep because I did not add any class here okay so let me add uh, class with uh, my remove cart button name and uh, let's simply write here class name and now okay now this is perfect great so uh, what is the next thing so now let's uh, click on remove to cart and now you can see that uh, we are able to call the action here right so let's pass the data from action to reducer as uh, the redux structure so what we need to just uh, call it inside a reducer we just uh, need to import the remove to cart type and you can just make a copy of uh, uh, the add to cart case what's wrong with it mm -hmm. okay just 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 give me a moment okay i just for forget to this um array right and just simply write here remove to cart and now what we need to do here so first thing is we don't need to add a new item so we can just remove it and the second thing is we can just pop a one item from the state so just simply write here state dot pop and it will remove a one item from our cart and now let's add some item one two three four five and here we can you can see that we are able to remove the items right so this is a simple functionality if you still have any confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel please and uh, uh, there is a one more reason to subscribe my channel is that uh, uh, maybe in a two or three days I'm just going to start a new project with the API and of uh, you can see that the full flash project right so that you can just see a complete e-commerce functionality with the Redux so bye bye for a moment and if you still have quest question please ask me in comment box